Here, the average of the existing ground level, which is 69.56 meters for road projects. However, here, we will see the types of methods adopted, which are commonly used in university exams, and, in public service exams. Those are 1. Mid-section method 2. Mean sectional area method 3. Prismoidal method Here, we will see about these three types in detail. The value calculated in mid-section method gives, the lower value. The value calculated in mean sectional area method gives, the higher value. And, the value calculated in prismoidal method is, middle of these two method. Welcome to Civil Guru. These videos made in different languages, like, English, Hindi, Tamil, and also in Arabic now. Please choose your desired language from our playlist. If you like this video, please like and subscribe now, and share it with your friends. Thank you. Now, we will see in detail, how the earthwork quantity is calculated. The given data, or, known data from the project is. The carriage width, 7 meters. Shoulder width, 1.5 meters at both side. Total carriage width is equal 7 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 is equal to 10 meters. Camber from center of the road is minus 2.5% at both side. Gradient of the road, plus 1 is to 500. And, the embankment side slope is, 2 is to 1. And the details of pavement is, wearing course, 50 mm. DBM, two layers of 75 mm thick, which is equals 150 mm. Wet mix, two layers of 100 mm, which is equals 200 mm. Granular sub base, 300 mm, a single layer. Now, the total thickness of pavement is, 50 plus 150 plus 200 plus 300 equals 700 mm. Which is equal to 0.7 meters. Now, we are going to calculate the quantity of earthwork for a 25 meters stretch. Chainage, starting from 90 plus 250 to 90 plus 275. The known data from the project detail is first chainage, 90 plus 250. FRL, which is finished road level, is 71.2. Now, let us calculate the formation level of the embankment. The formation level is, finished road level, minus, the total pavement thickness. Accordingly, the formation level here is, 71.2 minus 0.7, equals 70.5 meters. Now, let us calculate the formation level at the edge of the road. The given slope of the camber is 2.5%. This means, minus 2.5 centimeters at every 1 meter length. The embankment width at the formation level is, 10 meters. The camber flows at both sides, starting from the road center and ending after 5 meters in length, at the edge of the road. Accordingly, the formation level at the edge of the road is, 5 meters into minus 2.5%, equals minus 0.125 meters. This means, the formation level at the edge of the embankment is, 70.50, minus, 0 0.125, equals 70.375 meters. For easy calculation purposes, let us take, the average of these formation levels, which is, 70.375, plus 70.5, plus 70.375, divided by 3 which is equals, 211.25 divided by 3, equals 70.416. The average formation level at this chainage is, 70.416. Now, let us see the field measurements of these chainages. After cleaning the site, the existing ground levels are taken, from the centerline, to 7.5 meters at both sides, at every 2.5 meters intervals, and recorded in the drawing. And, to ease the calculations, the average of this existing ground level shall be calculated, and, considered for further calculations. Here, the average of the existing ground level, which is 69.56 meters. Now, let us check the average depth of filling, which is also known as, the embankment height. Average formation level, minus, average existing ground level, gives the average depth of filling. 
which is 70.416 minus 69.56 is equal to 0.856 meters. Now, let us draw the cross-section of the embankment, with the side-slope ratio of 2 is to 1. And, derive the bottom width of the embankment. And, also calculate the area of the embankment. The embankment height is 0.856, with a slope ratio of 2, the width of the slope is 1.712 meters. The total bottom width is, the width at formation level. Plus additional width of the slope, at both sides which is 10 plus 1.712 plus 1.712 equals 13.424 meters. To calculate the area of the embankment, let us follow the trapezoidal formula. 10 plus 13.424 divided by 2 into 0.856 equals 10.025 meter square. Now, let us check the next chainage of 90 plus 275. The finished road level for this chainage shall be calculated from the given value of gradient. Here the gradient is plus 1 is to 500. Means 1 meter upward height in 500 meters length. Now we have to calculate the difference of height for 25 meters length. Which means 1 divided by 500 into 25 meters equals 0.05 meters. Add this value with the finished road level of previous chainage. That is, 71.2 plus 0.05 is equal to 71.25 meters. The F aisle at chainage 90 plus 275 is 71.25 meters. Now, the formation level at this point is 71.250 minus 0.7 equals 70.55 meters. The levels at the edge of embankment is 70.55 minus 0.125 is equal to 70.425 meters. The average formation levels is equal 70.46. Now, as similar to previous chainage, the existing ground levels measured at this chainage shall be recorded in drawing. Accordingly, here, the average of existing ground level is 69.51. The average embankment height is 70.46 minus 69.51 is equal to 0.95 meters. The width of slope is 0.95 into 2 is equal to 1.9 meters at both side. The total bottom width of embankment is 13.8 meters. The area of the embankment is 10 plus 13.8 divided by 2, into 0.950 is equal to 11.305 meter square. Now, let us see, how the earthwork quantity is calculated, and, what all other different methods adopted. Nowadays, computer technology is improved a lot. There are many methods of calculation are possible, with the help of these technologies. Such as, the quantities can be calculated through AutoCAD also can be calculated through MS Excel. And, there are many specialized, dedicated software is available for road projects. However, here, we will see the types of methods adopted, which are commonly used in university exams, and, in public service exams. Those are 1. Midsection method 2. Mean sectional area method 3. Prismoidal method here, we will see about these three types in detail. We will calculate the quantity. Along with that, we will derive the formulas for each method. Now, we will see the midsection method. In midsection method, we have to determine the mean depth of these two cross sections, and, calculate the other data's required. And, create a new imaginary cross section at middle of these two chainage, with the calculated new data. First, let us derive the mean depth. The mean depth, dm, is, d1 plus d2, divided by 2. Which is, 0 0.856 plus 0 0.950 divided by 2. Equals 0 0.903 meter. The quantity, or, the volume is calculated, by multiplying this cross-sectional area, into length. The cross-sectional area is calculated by dividing this trapezoidal into two shapes. First one is this rectangle. 
the area of this rectangle is B into DM. Second one is these two triangles. The area of Thess triangles is half into base into height. We have to multiply by 2 because there are two triangles in same size. And multiply by length, L. Here these two get cancelled. Accordingly, now the quantity equals to BDM plus, base into height, into L. Now, let us calculate the base width of the slop, SDM. According to the slope ratio, the base width is proportionate to vertical height. This means, the base equals to, slope ratio, S, into height, DM, which is SDM. Here, the given slope ratio is 2 in horizontal distance, while vertical height is 1. Now, the SDM is 2 into 0 0.903, which is 1.806 meters. Now, the area of this embankment is, B into DM, plus, SDM into DM, into, length L. Accordingly, here the value is 10 into 0 0.903 plus 1.806 into 0 0.903 into 25, which equals to 9.030 plus 1.631 into 25. This gives the mean area of embankment 10.661 into length 25, which equals to 266.525 meters square. Next is, the mean sectional area method. In this method, we shall take the area of each cross-section individually. Then, take the average of these two cross-sectional areas. And, multiply with the required length. Accordingly, the area of the first cross-section is, A1 equals, BD1, plus, SD1 into D1, which is, 10 into 0 0.856 plus 1.712 into 0 0.856. This gives the value of 10.025 meter square. And the area of the second cross section is A2 equals BD2 plus SD2 into D2, which is 10 into 0 0.95 plus 1.90 into 0 0.95. This gives the value of 11.305 meter square. Now, the mean area, AM, equals, A1 plus A2, divided by 2, which is, 10.025 plus 11.305, divided by 2. This gives the value of, 10.665 meter square. And, the quantity between these two chainages is, the mean area, AM, into, length, L which is 10.665 into 25. This gives the value of 266.625 meter square. And next is prismoidal method, which is most commonly used in the engineering field, and also considered as an accurate method of calculation. In this method, we have to remember a formula, which is the quantity Q equals A1 plus A2 plus 4 AM into L by 6. Here, the AM means the area calculated in the midsectional method using the mean depth. Means 4 AM equals 4 into BDM plus SDM into DM. Accordingly, the value is 10.025 plus 11.305 plus 4 times of 10.66 into 25 divided by 6 which gives the value of 266.558 meters square. Let us compare the value of these three types. The value calculated in midsection method gives the lower value. The value calculated in mean sectional area method gives the higher value. And the value calculated in prismoidal method is middle of these two method, which is fair on the contractors as well as the client. So, the prismoidal method is most commonly adopted in engineering field. If you like these videos, please subscribe now and share with your friends. And also don't forget to press the bell button. Thank you.